Hello everybody, Fox here with the final installment of Spirit Halloween's terrifying trio sneak peeks. This is of the Crazy Create Fright in the Box, and this is my personal favorite out of the three. I want to actually say something about this, perhaps video specifically, just say that I really like the touch of all the dolls scattered around the box. You know, you see some pretty old classic dolls, you know, like Lost Lizzie, the Antique Clown, see good times clown and gothtober and i don't know what the last one's called pretty blue eyes but i thought it was a pretty cool touch um but now let's actually focus our attention on the animatronic itself so this is a 3.4 foot animatronic that is similar to the incinerator and the cryo chamber corpse however with a little twist one you can see into the box and two it's got a different mechanism. If you look at that really quickly, he jumps outwards, almost like Demonic Dahlia and Jack Straw did. I mean, it, it definitely comes out towards, like it lunges out of that box, which in my opinion, that's a really good touch right there. That's actually pretty scary. I'm sure that could scare some kids pretty well. And also, it's a lot better than it just popping up and then, you know, going down. It's like a comes out like outwards so i think it's a pretty effective scare i'm a pretty big fan of this animatronic like this is probably my favorite of the lineup this year i had a feeling a cloud would win me over and it had to be this one um for one i really the details on the box how old and worn it looks and even how they used the skulls on the front kind of like the comedy and tragedy masks you know from like a theater place that was a really cool touch. Um, I like how distorted the um, Pop Goes the Weasel song is. And how it just stops mid-song and then pop goes the weasel. The clown itself I really like. I like its elongated and cartoony features. Though I'm sure some of you probably can say, Logan, you say you didn't like Wacky Mole. Wacky Mole's cartoony. That's true. However, this is a type of cartoony that I actually am quite fond of. It's not over-the-top, stupid-looking. It actually has some realistic qualities in it. So, I, I do like it a lot. I like the black-and-white striped cloth that he has. Um, I know some people don't necessarily like that and think, oh, should I have a body? However, if we're going to think of a classic jack-in-the-box, it really just is a head and fabric. Sometimes some do have bodies, some don't. I had one that had a body, but I've seen ones that don't have bodies. just cloth in the head. The an the audio, I almost said animation, the audio itself is actually pretty good. I like the laugh. I like how it's almost kind of like fun and cutesy, and then it becomes deep and demonic and scary. It just slowly sinks into the box. I like that. Again, it's a very ominous character. And I like how they didn't try making it look demonic. It's just, a, I mean, it looks like a clown, you know? And I appreciate that. I also really like his big bow tie. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. That's just me, though. I really like the bow tie. I like that touch. Now, there's a little thing, and that's his price tag. So, again, he is 3.4 feet. So, he's about half the size as, say, Hugs. Hugs is a six-foot animatronic. And they both retail for $209.99. Personally. Oh, kill the guy. <laughs> Personally, it's not an amazing price per se however it is tolerable um given that it it's kind of the basic pricing for clowns specifically they seem to just be 209.99 you know your average six foot clown even you know i guess tiring clown was also that much i'm not sure why spirit's been doing that i wonder if they're just rambi with the prices on, on the clowns because they're clowns and they sell that's probably my best guess um I would definitely recommend using a 20% off coupon on this guy. I personally would. It did kind of bump that price down a little bit. It's something more, you know, manageable. But overall, it's actually really cool. And I think I wanted to mention, go back to the animation, is I like how the handle spins. It's a really good touch. I feel like some Jack in the Box animatronics don't have that. But speaking of Jack in the Box animatronics, this is the first one we've had in a long, long time. If you remember, we had one. It was a tabletop called Jacked Up Jill. I believe there was another version. They were by Techie. And then, um, similar was Chester the Jester, 
though not necessarily a jack-in-the-box, it was still a jester-styled clown that popped up. So, again, we're less to see that type of thing return, um, and I'm, I think it's a very strong return. So what do you guys think about this prop? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Are you going to buy it? I'm going to buy it. I think you should buy it. <laughs> um, that's really all for me, guys. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Ha 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 ha!